Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the uh, NCCR Molecular Systems Engineering, it's a great pleasure to welcome you to a very special evening and event, a premiere, a world premiere of Alchemy, a melodrama, an opera about a female supercomputer called Ada, written by Austrian composer Oliver Peter Graber and by Roald Hoffmann, who both will be joined tonight by mezzo-soprano Stephanie McGuire from Berlin and the Basel-based artistic ensemble Prinzip. Following the uh, premiere, we are going to have a short talk with all the actors and we kindly invite you as our audience to join into the discussion. Tell us what you think, tell us what you heard and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. And after that, with the curtain closed and, and all questions open, as Bertolt Brecht would say, we hope to see you all at the bar again. And I've got good news for you. The NCCR is going to pay for the first round. <laughs> Yet another very practical example of what molecular systems engineering is capable of doing these days. <laughs> With the premiere of Alchemy, we also honor a very special man tonight. We celebrate a very special man tonight who for many decades has developed a very special approach, a unique approach to combine the natural sciences together with the arts. He has continuously tried to bridge the communication gap between the researcher on the one side and the public in general on the other side by inviting the arts, contemporary artists, philosophers into the discussion and discourse and thereby emphasizing how important it is to have an ethical and moral reasoning process in the sciences and also reminding the scientists of their responsibilities as a researcher. Roald Hoffmann is a global citizen, but he's also a citizen of a land between chemistry, poetry, and literature, and philosophy, one might add. I've had the privilege of meeting Roald some years ago in Munich and we have stayed in touch ever since via Zoom, email, telephone and handwritten letters. About two years ago, I received a postcard from Roald in an envelope with a, how could I put it, a very uh, eye-catching stamp, I should say. And I brought that stamp with me. Made it a little bigger so you can hopefully see it. This is the stamp <laughs> that Roald put on this envelope. In case you don't know this little creature, it's Harry Monster from Sesame Street. And when I saw that, I, had, I laughed out loud and I, I immediately wrote to Roald an email and I said, did you send this on purpose? Did you pick this stamp? And Roald, being the fast email answerer that many of you know, re uh, replied a few hours later and he, and he wrote, of course I did. I thought you'd like it. And this little episode to me really shows and resembles what Roald and, and who Roald Hoffman is. Roald Hoffman is big in the small things. He cares about detail and he cares about people. And that makes him very, very special. And what I can say is that I have learned from Roald Hoffmann that while life is all science, it's not all about science. Rather, science is all about life. And it's about everything and all, and it includes everyone on par, on an eye-to-eye -eye level. So. Let Alchemy begin and please let us welcome this outstanding gentleman. Herzlich willkommen, Roald Hoffmann. Thank 
you, Ralph. Uh, welcome to alchemy. The figures in this singspiel are, I will introduce them, Bianca. <laughs> the world's expert in computational chemistry. Young, intense, she is designing a modern philosopher's stone. This is a program that develops a suite of chemical catalysts for any purpose, a super catalyst in itself. Whatever transformation is desired, whatever end molecule or substance, Bianca's program designs the means to synthesize it. And then, using robotics, even makes the catalyst. Next is Ilya. <laughs> Ilya is the lover of Bianca. He's middle-aged, expert in synesthesia a painter by professional background. He transforms colors and scientific spectra into sound, touch, and smell. He is definitely not afraid of computers. He works on a modern hyper canvas, which is made possible by a supercomputer, Ada, Ada Stalitz. This hyper canvas is called a synestheticon. And this synestheticon presents a computerized touch screen that comes down uh, and brought within Ilya's reach by Ada. The painter's brush strokes then transform into fields of color that evoke emotional responses. But in that in are included sounds and smells and even textures. And the hyper canvas's emotional palette can be tuned. Ilya is a transformer, as Bianca and Lothar are, but the transformation he seeks are emotional. Lothar. <laughs> Master synthetic chemist, older, he has no sympathy at all for computers in his research and believes only in what can be accomplished in the laboratory <laughs> by human hands, um, by the hands of his young co-workers, with the direct reasoning of which he is the master. Yet he respects Bianca, his younger colleague. Lothar has mastered every sort of chemical transformation, which turn the inexpensive things of this earth, the starting materials of his syntheses, into useful and precious pharmaceuticals. In that sense, he has turned dirt into gold, but he also dreams more broadly of the alchemical dream, of escape from mortality, of molecules that would not just cure disease, but which would transform human beings, which would remove addiction and change their aggressive behavior. Then there is Viola. <laughs> Viola is a student of Ilya's, the painters. And Akira. Akira is a very bright student of Lothar's. And then there is a choir of algorithms, working with Ada, and reagents, Lothar's students. All of these actors on a stage now will form and represent together these two choirs of algorithms and reagents. And finally, there is Ada. <laughs> Ada. 
Ada, Ada is a very humanoid avatar. She is the ultimate computer, proud to be one instead of many, even as she is instantaneously linked with her children. Immense banks of ganged small computers scattered around the world. The biggest cluster of these is in a kilometer cubed cavern under the Mont Blanc Massif. She is certain of her powers, yet moody and can be funny. The intuition that comes from her powers is cast in a very human mold. She will ask you why you want those calculations done. She reads history. She tries to write poetry. The place is Ada's laboratory, or is it office, or control room, and the time of the action is not too long from now. into a large separating funnel, which at the small end is strong and half a cork fitted exactly to it. Ada, oh Ada, what are you reading? Shh, guys, it's our father, the great Newton. Let it stand a few hours and there will separate a reddish water from an oily substance. Take out the cork to let the reddish water. Ada, oh Ada, we don't have a father. And that is not the great Newton we know, of Orbis, the rainbow, and the calculus. There was another Newton all along, one who hid his work in the dark, an alchemist. He looked for the mystery of the work, a philosopher's stone that would transform whatever it touched into whatever you desired. I am trying to repeat what he did. Did he find it? His, His philosopher's stone? stone? No. Well, maybe. Yes. Even if he didn't have you guys to help him. What? what? No, no algorithms? No, no algorithms? algorithms? No, no algorithms. algorithms? Well, he had his own ways of computing square roots, orbits, trajectories of planets, and as you said, he invented the calculus. So did Leibniz. Wait, Mont Blanc is signaling. Press on, my French children. Bianca will want her results soon. Ada, oh Ada, those computers under Mont Blanc, how could they be your children? You, you are, are a machine. machine. Do I look like a machine? Do I look like a machine?
Straxman from Newton. I want to read a poem. What poem shall I read? Oh, oh Ada, Ada, we do, do not know poems. poems. We, we are, are just programs and, and procedures, procedures, lines of code or, or equations, equations that, that people call on, that, that you use. Why? Why do I use you? To do, do a calculation, calculation better, better, quicker than, than others can. can. But that's what poems are! Beautiful, intense ways of saying things. Ah, Ada, poems are like equations that, that we understand. But we still, still don't, don't know any poems. poems. Any poems. Any, any poems. poems. Good for nothing you are. Hey. What? It's okay, I just meant in the world of poems. You are very good at finding a global minimum. <laughs> I will find a poem. Ah, Alexander Pope. Hence, the fool's paradise, the statesman's scheme, the air-built castle and the golden dream, the maid's romantic wish, the chemist's flame, and poet's vision of eternal fame. Equally deluded, he says, both that poet, that alchemist, but what if there's more to it than just that golden dream? Ah, ah. Something is not right. But, but you are always right, Ada. Something is not right in my computers, under Mont Blanc, in Timbuktu, here. Uh, I feel snippets of code inserted to no purpose, to no purpose. I do not know them. And I know every circuit in me, in my computers. I am afraid. Good, you're on it. Your calculations are running, Bianca. With the world's best theoretical chemist, like a drink. A drink with a computer. I am not a computer. I am Ada. I transform information, just like you, but better. Why not? Next you will be writing poetry. Oh, I do, or I try. A computer that writes poetry. The new woman who writes poetry. When she should be grinding numbers. When that is a small part. I need to see. Of what I can is do. Is my great plan. Here is my poem. For the philosopher's stone. To enter your landscape. That's just a catch. I name. must reject flatness. A master program As to. As the sun does burning. Catalysts. Of fog in the hills. For and any process. And when then. When I have turned the red. Program robots to make. What I. You're not listening. You're not listening. And I read it's only men who do that. <laughs> Wait until I find who programmed you. Listen, Ada, just do these simulations. The catalyst robot coupling is the tricky part. into that infinite loop, little dervish. Let's see. 
We can fix that. Yeah, it's almost there. And... There we go. Claire, that number just can't be right. Let me put Genji on the problem. Yeah, that did it. The Timbuktu server is frozen. Oh. Ada, I don't know what is wrong with you. Is it a bad time? No, not at all, Ilya. I need a respite from the calculation your Bianca has saddled me with. Usually you don't complain. You just do the computations so they're ready before they even ask for them. But these are much harder than any I've done before. So many independent variables. So many dimensions for chance to play a role. But don't pay any attention to my complaints. <laughs> I can't. And you know that in my eyes, Bianca can't do anything wrong since <clears throat> she likes me. Could you get me this synesthetic, Khan? Oh, and this is Viola, Ada. Are you one of Ilya's students? I am. The best one. Maybe Bianca should be careful. And you are the brains behind the Synestheticon. It's just a canvas. Here it comes. <sighs> wow. I once saw the in-house version of Adobe Illustrator, but this is amazing. What are those keyboards? They are the sound ports, but look at the bottles, like vaporizers. What are they for? For smells. <laughs> and fabrics for texture? Ilya can call them up, blend them, sequence them. That sailor in the crow's nest, has he just seen another ship? But you're a computer. You've not been at sea. That's just what Bianca said, that I am a computer. But I've read Patrick O'Brien's novels. I've been on a ship through them, just like you. <sighs> oh, so much more than a canvas. We think the wind is rising, and poof. The sails just furl. See, others upset. Then the synestheticon roils. The sea to match her mood. We can... Have you smell the salt spray? Oh, the bow and the powder... Of the 24-pounder's fire. Let me try. You made it. Just code. Let her try. I want more. More than this? I want to make people cry. Your strokes, they're too neat. I want to be like you. Then make a mistake. I can't. Why should I want to be like them?
Look at them dance. Coming together, moving apart. How Goethe would have loved to see them. Yes, making and breaking bonds. That's what you are good at. See how they build rings? Complex structures from simple building blocks. Order out of chaos. They can make anything under the sun. And, and you, you should, should see, see what, what we, we do, do at, at night. night. At night. At night. At, at night. I like when you visit Lothar. Because I do not bring you things to do? Yes, you are not like Bianca. Ah, yes, my brilliant young colleague. Has she been bothering you? Yes, my children are working for her day and night. Are there no child labor laws in your world? But I have news for you, but I will let Bianca tell you. The robotics doesn't work. It should. I tested it. It's not her theory. It's the chemical reactors. With steel walls that corrode. How do you know that? He's the synthetic chemist. Who will be out of work. But now she needs you. To try it out. I will help her. Herr Professor, Frau Professor, if I may. He's from an old family, forgive me. Yes, Akira, is there something you want to say? Yes, forgive me. But I have been studying some quantum mechanics in my spare time. It's not what one does in one's spare time. <laughs> Give him some credit. It's not bad for a synthetic organic chemist to study theory. I have looked at the underlying equations in Professor Bianca's program, and they, regrettably... Don't be afraid. Say it. ...appear unstable. There's a bifurcation in one, an equation that may admit of several solutions stayed by small perturbations... I have looked at all of the equations, and though the calculations are not yet... Oh, uh, ...finished... They are right. I have tested them with several different boundary conditions. Something could go wrong. The catalysts could do more than just find an easier reaction path. The, 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 the hydrogen bond... Energies. They Anna, could be changed. You have examined the programs. Are they stable? I have had some unusual glit unusual glit unusual gl uh, unusual glitches in the operation of my Mont Blanc and Timbuktu clusters. But now I am sure. Absolutely sure. Bianca's program will work. My computations say it will be so. What do you think, Ilya? My intuition tells me to be careful, but then I see your mind at play. You, Bianca, are shaping an art of the molecule, creating new ones that had not been on Earth before, never before. Melding fu function with structure, molecules that bring out emotions, a new world. Let's do it then. We whom they think to replace will carry out their synthesis and improve it. brave to say something. Seeing you there gave me strength. See, I believe you. But I'm afraid. That this experiment might fail? No, that you might get hurt. Your love will keep me safe. Viola, tell me something of love. Me? Tell you? You who, who knows everything. You who are so beautiful. I read of love. It transforms everything. But that is what Bianca's program does? 
It's just that... Well, knowing that, that I can't spend my every day with Akira. Has it been 40 years? Oh, the joy of making things. With my own hands, people! Crystal, boiling liquids, colors. Yes, with a plan, one of many steps. A plan that builds the rich molecules of life. And those nature did not see. Whose plan? Mine. Of course. Not a computer's. And if things don't work, if there be no crystals, just black tar? Hmm? Well, there are 70 ways of making carbon-carbon bonds. We will not be replaced. The Philosopher's Stone! Or should it be Bianca Stone? Or, or the, the Rolling, Rolling Stones. Stones? I was born... To calculate. I was, I was born, born to, to calculate. calculate. And I cried when, when they, they took, took away my numbers, numbers from me. I'm, I'm just, just a wild, 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 wild rocking, rocking, dancing, computing, computing ball, ball of fire. I, I, I don't know what's come over them. Um, they were usually such good students. <laughs> well, well we've, we've got, got rhythm. rhythm. Do it. Do it. Do it. Others talk. Or push numbers. We mix A and B, A and B. Do it. Try it. Do it. And at heat, heat, heat. Out come crystals of good old C, good old C. Oh, yes. yes. Do it. Try it. Do it, do it, do it! What if I'm wrong? We are young, we, we compute, young. we react. Twitter, Snapchat, you're so old hat. We are taking over. Get the gang, get set. We're in control. We're out of control. We're in control. Out of control. In control. Where's Bianca? She went to watch the experiment. Oh, no! It went wrong, horribly wrong. You heard the explosion. Viola and Akira, they died in the first moment. That can't be. My calculations. Lotar? What went wrong? Nothing. Everything. Bianca's Philosopher's Stone worked too well. The catalyst it generated turned glass crystalline, it shattered, and so did any plastic. But those are just the flasks. Why would anyone die? The catalyst changed the hydrogen bonding energies in proteins ever so slightly. And the immune system turned against those proteins, thinking they were the other. The young went quicker, in a perfect storm of cytokinins. The program was perfect. I calculated. And, and Bianca, she, she was the first to help the students, and it was slower, more painful for her. But she, she is dead. No. No! <laughs> B Bianca said, I know where I made a mistake. I couldn't have made a mistake. I couldn't. You did. But I don't understand how. The color of the sea is changing. The catalyst is spreading. Even the water changes in the infrared. 
I, I, I have to paint it. To paint it, this may be the last sunset. How can you paint now, Ilya? It's the only thing I can do for her, for Viola, for the students. I made a mistake. How could that be? You made a mistake. Can you learn from it? Shadowy figures are coming into your painting. They're dark, grieving, and I made them cry. I'll, I'll paint over them. I smell their rotting flesh. Do you smell it? I, I hear. Dies ire. I can make them go away with, with a brush. Hills come into your painting, falling into the sea. I want an alpine meadow. The fog is rolling in. I feel its wetness. I killed them. The Dark Ones rise again. They speak my language. Yes, computer code. My brush. I have to try again to overcome these dark shades for Bianca. Now, now the landscape, your beautiful meadows. They stay on longer. I want you to hear the insects, to smell the grass. She's, She's wild with, with her screams. screams. Those numbers, numbers. They're, they're jumping, jumping. Changing. changing. She's talking to her children. Her children? Yes, that is how they are to her, those PC notes and caverns under a mountain. We will not understand her, even as we've made her. Maybe we need another word for them, but she loves them. Look, she has something in her hand. A vial and a melody. Ada's song. I have it. What do you have? I made a mistake. That you know. It's human to make mistakes. It's human to learn from your mistakes. Yes, but we're always behind, always fixing what our selfish games got us into. I thought I could be better, see more of the trouble ahead than you. It seemed just a question of examining more possibilities. Something you're good at. But I didn't see what happened to Bianca or Viola and Akira, whose love didn't save them. Welcome to our world, my friend. Yes. Now, I can just try. Laboratory. Just broken glass. Take it back where we worked. Let me give it to the people. No! I made the mistake. I will do it.
ist Ada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs>